how is it that the Prophet had more than four wives, but the Quran said you can only have up to four wives, or you can only have four wives? The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, a special dispensation only for him the, uh, that, that he could marry more than the four at once. Our dear Muslim friends keep telling us the miracle of Muhammad is the Quran. So here's another miracle we've discovered, cultish verses. A cult is a system where the cult leader gets exclusive benefits above other members of the cult, usually including sexual privileges, not available to others in the group. Believe it or not, the Quran provides cultish verses to give Muhammad those extra privileges. For example, all Muslims are allowed to have up to four wives. The Quran mentions Surah Nisa, chapter number four, verse number three, that you can maximum have four wives. However, when it comes to Muhammad, not only was he allowed many more than the prescribed four wives, but according to this verse here, he can put aside whom he will, or take to himself whom he will, and if he desired a wife whom he separated from previously, he can return to her with no blame. Also, consider this verse. This is only for you, excluding the other believers. These verses in Surah 33 are cultish verses that give sexual privileges to Muhammad only. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, a special dispensation only for him the, uh, that, that he could marry more than the four at once. According to Islam, Muhammad can have any woman. If I today proclaim myself to be a prophet, I can have your wife too? What a nasty, filthy prophet of Islam. Let me show you from the Quran, guys. So if we look at chapter 33, ayah 50 from Surah Al-Ahzab, we can read the following in the Arabic. وَهَبَتْ نَفْسَهَا لِنَبِيِّ إِنْ أَرَادَ النَّبِيُّ أَنْ يَسْتَنْكِحَهَا خَالِصَةٌ لَكَ مِنْ دُونِ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ According to this ayah in the English, if any believing woman, if she gives herself unto the Prophet and the Prophet desire to ask her in marriage here this part is not marriage this is pure sexual intercourse so if the prophet wants to have any women for sex for sexual intercourse only it is a privilege for him and only him alone not for the rest of the believers so muhammad has a sexual privilege over any muslim so how is this not adultery guys Here's what we read in Sahih al-Bukhari, and there are many other passages like this, but Sahih al-Bukhari, this is number 268. Anas bin Malik said, The Prophet used to visit all his wives in a round during the day and night, and they were 11 in number. Four? What's that? Four? Going around having sex with all 11 wives in one night. Ugh. It wasn't easy. Had the Prophet the strength for it? Anas replied, We used to say that the Prophet was given the strength of 30 men. Wow, they're even boasting about it? Of 30 men. They're boasting about Muhammad's ability to go around having sex with multiple women in one day uh, when the Quran only allows oh, him to have up to four wives. But Muhammad got a special revelation, ladies and gentlemen, Surah 3350 of the Quran, which says that Muhammad and only Muhammad could have as many wives as he wanted. Appear in front of me a video of uh, Sister Farid. For those curious, you'll realize by returning to commentaries that the verse is referring to the Prophet, peace be upon him, being allowed to get married without paying a dowry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed that. Muhammad is getting sex for free. To the Prophet, peace be upon him, being allowed to get married without paying a dowry. Brothers and sisters, Ibn Kathir, and a believing woman if she offer herself to the Prophet, and the Prophet wishes to marry her. <laughs> a privilege for you only, okay. <laughs> to the Prophet, peace be upon him, being allowed to get married without paying a dowry. Okay, why Muhammad should not pay for the sex he will get from the women? Is it you Muslim you say that the dowry is the right of the women for her protection? And where it says to with her? And why he have, I mean, is he a Muslim or he is above Islam? To the Prophet, peace be upon him, being allowed to get married without paying a dowry. Obviously, Muhammad have a privilege, all of them about money and sex. And this is your translation, a privilege for you only. Which a prophet, he have a privilege for him only. Isn't it the prophet is the first one who to follow the law? Or he have a, his own law? God, he made a special law for Muhammad, so he's not a Muslim? To the prophet, peace be upon him, being allowed to get married without paying a dowry. Because now, if we say to you, is that for Muslim, you will say no. This is not for Muslims. So this is for who? Muhammad was a Hindu? To the prophet, peace be upon him, being allowed 
to get married without paying a dowry. And look, so he refuted me now by saying Ibn Kathir, he said, this is only privilege for the Prophet just not to pay dowry, that's all. That's all. Yeah, that's the only privilege he got. Poor Muhammad. Looks like Allah is not favoring Muhammad at all. So if we're going to do some research and see what Aisha had to say about chapter 33 when the divine inspiration came down to Muhammad, she says, can a lady give herself to a man? Isn't that a shame? Aisha is shocked. She doesn't believe what she's hearing. Any woman can, can he give herself as a whore so Muhammad can have sexual intercourse with her, even women who are married. Wow. And in the Arabic she says, أَمَا تَسْتَحِي الْمَرْأَ أَنَّ تَهَبَ نَفْسَهَا لَلرَّجُلُ Is she not ashamed to give herself to a man like Muhammad? I mean, this guy is uh, old and he wants only to have sex with the ladies, even married ladies. Muslims, really? Is this a prophet of God? Or is this a self-proclaimed fake prophet who created Islam to F any woman he wants? Even your wives. Muslims? Can a Muslim now say, I will not give my wife to Muhammad if Muhammad wants to F her? And then Aisha as a response, Ma ara rabbuka illa yusara fi hawaka. I feel that your Lord hastens in fulfilling your wishes and your sexual desires. Here we go. And this is only a privilege to Muhammad. Only. They were forced by Islamic law. If you want to be a Muslim, you cannot have more than four wives. Only a privilege to Muhammad. Any believing woman and any believing woman who dictate her panty to the Prophet. If the Prophet wished to wed her, and this is only for thee, not for the believer. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, a special dispensation only for him that, uh, that, that he can marry more than the four at once. Isn't it obvious that this is a corrupt verse made by the corrupt man Muhammad for the benefit of Muhammad? Who is the only one who get the benefit of this privilege, Muhammad? can see quite clearly that the, rev that the verse is referring to marriage. Hold on. Look, guys, the text. And look, he have an arrow. It says whoever wished to with her. <laughs> so now it's not about having sex with everybody. It's whoever he wished to with. I mean, don't you see it? Are you blind? Look, look, he got you busted. Look, whoever he wished to with, how he with her. It's not for, it's not, it's not true. Not every woman he was, whoever he wished, but not every woman, only the one he wished. Prophet peace be upon him being allowed to get married without paying a dowry. That the, rev that the verse is referring to marriage. <laughs> According to Fifi, Muhammad, he can marry as many as he wish. Privilege, privilege, brother. Only, I mean, what's wrong with that? Okay, but if a Muslim, he have five wives, like let us say he have four and then he got number five. Is that adultery in Islam? They would say, yes, haram. It's haram. You're going to be punished for it. Haram, brother. Okay. So Muhammad, wife number five, wife number six, wife number seven, wife number eight, wife number nine, wife number ten, wife number twelve. To continue until tomorrow? <laughs> it's a hobby horse. Or adultery. No, brother, it is not adultery because it's a privilege for the Prophet. <laughs> the Prophet is a poor guy. I mean, come on, he have too much stress on him. And Allah give him privilege to his private part. They will say to you, what about like in the Old Testament, it says there is a prophet, he have 700 wives. It's not God, this guy is a king and he was a lousy person. And even the God, he condemned his behavior. So Muhammad, he have a privilege and the privilege is about his private part. And yet the prophet, he don't have sex with whoever he want, only with the women he wish. I'm convinced. And actually, I'm silenced. Dear Muslims, if a person today makes himself leader of a new religion, then gives himself the right to have many more wives than all his followers, and has women gift themselves to him, a privilege only to him and not given to anybody else in the group, what would you think of that person? Well, that's exactly what Muhammad did in the 7th century. So Muslims wake up, this is nothing but a fake prophet who created Islam for his own sexual desires. <sighs> The job you finished. Ugh. Uh, it wasn't easy.